It's 5 a.m. I'm up and just finishing packing to go to the airport. Morning guys, it is Tuesday morning, normally means very little in the van, but today is the exception because Lee arrives in just a few hours. She messaged me, the plane's on time, Ock and I are both so pumped for her to get here. I'm also a little bit nervous, I've had this space to myself for three months, so it's going to be a bit of an adjustment having two people in here again, but I absolutely cannot wait to start this next chapter. The van is sparkling clean, just like it has been for the last three months. And I'm gonna go to the supermarket, stock up on a few items, so we are ready to hit the road as soon as she arrives. kind of running late but I think Lee's plane has just arrived. Oh, he definitely knows something's going on. Hey, Oc. Oc. Who's that buddy? Who's that? Come back here. Come back. Just get me away. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Everything looks like in there. Honestly, it feels weird. Lee is a little bit upset at me, rightly so. Max was 15 minutes late. <laughs> it, it sounds worse than it actually is. I got blocked in at the place I was staying by someone doing a delivery, a delivery truck for 20 minutes. And unfortunately, it meant I was 10 minutes late and Lee's flight was 10 minutes early. <laughs> <laughs> with com combined with the heat has made Lee a little bit upset and emotional but I'm glad we got Oki <laughs> got Oki's reaction on camera yeah. I think a few people will be happy about that and it's hot as balls so and we're going to the beach we're going to the beach and we'll see you there about it because this is nothing new or unusual to them. As you'll see, Hockey's wearing the back of the couch. And everything's down there.
This is the aftermath of a bumpy road with nothing put away yet. Someone's got a tour for you. Come here. Wait, sit. Sit. Wait. Okay. He's finally allowed to swim again. Whoop whoop. Clutter. <laughs> I think we underestimated how much stuff we had and where we were going to put all the new stuff. So Lee brought me a few goodies from home but this was what I was most waiting for. Look at this bad boy. This is what's going to keep the Sprinter in good health for the rest of our journey. It's a mechanic specific toolkit and I don't know why, but it actually gets me really excited. So as you can probably guess, we didn't really want to talk all that much yesterday. We wanted a bit of time to ourselves. I'm so stoked to have Lee back in the van. I can tell Lockie is too. And yeah, the van definitely feels complete again, but at the same time, it's taking- I think I've cluttered Max's space a little bit. It's already taking a little bit of readjusting. Lee was like a pack horse, as you probably saw when she was coming out of the airport. She brought a lot of stuff and most of it necessary but yeah the van is repacked now but it's yeah. it's feeling We're a little full cluttered. To the brim. Yeah. So before we go on with anything else we kind of thought this would be a really good opportunity to talk about what this three months was like for us. I know a lot of people you know are watching and everything said oh it feels like it's been so long for them um, but for us, it was actually a lot harder than I think we thought it was going to be. Yeah, especially just with all the factors of being in different countries, on different time zones, with limited Wi-Fi. I was working, so when Max would be free, I'd be at work. When I was free, he wasn't. Um, so it was actually very difficult to, to manage. Um, and it was just tough on us. Like On our relationship, it was hard to balance our relationship as well as working together on YouTube as partners and it's been a big learning experience for us but we just want you guys to know like we have been enjoying the entire process but it's it hasn't been really easy for us yeah definitely and yeah the things like bad reception and stuff really make it hard when you're down here to communicate properly and I don't know I think we're just both excited to you know get back to used to being two of us in the van and, yeah. you know... Being partners again. 
Yeah, exactly. We're so excited. And to start traveling together again. And to have people, have someone to like bounce off, you know. It, it, there were so many things actually. I would like to, I've compiled a little bit of a list of things that went wrong in the van while Leah was away. And I thought now would be a good time to share them because she doesn't actually know some of them as well. So, 15 things that went wrong while Leah was away. Volcano erupted when I was in Antigua. I had two reversing accidents in the van, pranging the van twice. That's the first time I've heard about that one. <laughs> he doesn't know about that. She also I hasn't mean... even noticed where they are, so that's okay so far. Uh, the fr having our fridge replaced, which we knew we were going to have to do before Lee left, yeah. ended up taking a whole month, and every week I was just on standby for that, so that was really not great. I lost our camera's SD card. Oh, you said it didn't come with you. Lee also didn't know about that. I lost the GoPro's micro SD card. I... I dropped and broke our portable hard drive. Lee knew about that one. That really was unfortunate. It was from like less than a meter and it, it lost so much of our footage that we'd filmed and But not and just photos. our footage, but like Max's entire travels before the van. Yeah. It, like all it, of his previous travels too. It lost a lot. And so I'm sure a lot of people out there have had that happen before and it really sucks. And we've learned, we've bought two four terabyte hard drives now and we're going to back up our backup so we can't lose it all again. Yeah. Okay, so... The next one, the van started leaking coolant. Turns out the water pump's broken. It's a really big job to fix it. That's why you saw yesterday the tool set that I got. We're gonna try and tackle it ourselves because we, it's gonna save a lot of money. Um, I don't know if I'm up to the challenge mechanically, but we're gonna find out. The van engine cut out repetitively and that happened pretty much from a few weeks after Lee left and it turned out it was a wire chafing in the engine harness and I've actually fixed the problem. It took me ages to find, but it's all good now. I almost got arrested at the El Salvadorian border. That was due to a mistake of the Guatemalan side when we entered and that was really scary and a scary thing to go through pretty much on my own. I got sick twice, one, two weeks after they left Oh, actually, no, it was a week, a week after Lee left, and a lot of people got sick then. They thought it was due to the volcano. I got sick again in El Salvador, and getting sick in the van on your own really sucks. It sucks getting sick anyway in the van, but when you're on your own and you kind of have no one to drive go and you drive you around or go and buy you food or make you food, yeah, it's... Oki kind of let me down a little bit in that department. He didn't cook for me. He didn't do anything, but he was good moral support. Okay, I had the Nicaraguan border lose my vehicle title while I was going through the process of getting into the country. And as a result, they weren't going to let me into Nicaragua, but I also couldn't cross back into Honduras because I had no title because they'd lost it, which meant essentially I was going to be stuck in no man's land with not really a way out of it. Um, and that was horrible. It took seven hours. I ended up getting on the phone to Lee and telling her about it because I was just... I tried to keep it a secret for a while, but it was so bad. And then, luckily, we ended up finding the title. Okay, so after that, I got stung by another stingray. I crashed the drone twice in what? one day. And on the same day, Oki attacked the drone and caught it. Uh, <laughs> so there's scratches on the drone? There's a couple of bite marks in it. Bite marks on the drone? Yeah. It didn't get the camera though. And finally, the worst one of all of them, Oki got attacked by dogs. So I wanted to make this list known for you guys. I also thought if I told it on camera, Lee wouldn't kill me yet. Um, and I also wanted to say it so... He forgot one. He also dropped our phone in the ocean. No, I got sprayed by a wave and it killed our phone. <laughs> yeah, I lost a phone as well. It's been a bad few months and I'd like your support in encouraging Lee never to leave again. So 
if you also think Lee should never leave again, please put it in the comments below. <laughs> Tell her she should never leave because clearly I, I'm a bit ashamed to say it, but I don't think I cope very well without you. So. No longer. We're back together. Yeah. So. That's, that's all that out of the way. I'm glad I've got that off my chest. I actually feel a bit, a bit, a bit lighter now. What else? Sorry, I'm processing all that news still, but basically, Max and I want to finish off by letting you guys know that from here on out, we want to bring you along on our adventure from Costa Rica all the way down through Central America and into South America. And every Wednesday, what you can expect to see from us is travel-related footage of where our van can bring us, some days we'll be hiking, some days we'll be in national parks, we'll be by the ocean, we'll be Some going days we'll mountains. be fixing the van. Yeah, days. we're going to be sharing the entire experience, the good and the bad, with you guys. And we want yeah. you to come along with us every Wednesday as we travel south. Yeah, we want to make this a little bit more chronological for you guys and really get an understanding of what's going on day to day. Yeah. Um, and along with doing all that, we're still going to do informative videos every now and then, but they're going to be extra videos that we'll put on the side. So yeah. our Wednesday video is going to be just travel vlogs and then yeah. informative ones around that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't like, we're both so excited about, we've done all the hard work now. Lee's, well, sorry, Lee's done all the hard work now. She's gone back, she's earned her money and I'm so proud of her for sticking to her guns and doing that. There was some pressure for her to come back a little bit earlier and she stuck to her gun, she got to the, her savings goal and you know now we're going to reap the benefits because we can travel slower and there's so much beautiful things to see out there and I just can't wait. I'm excited for South America but also excited for the rest of Central America. We've still got Costa Rica and Panama to go. Yeah, so we'll see you guys next Wednesday on the very start of our adventure. Stay tuned, bye.